all right welcome back to my classic fords i'm gordon best and today i was out junkyard shopping i had a buddy of mine come help me and we found three 1947 mercury trucks we dug them out of the woods um especially this one here we pretty well folded the cab up trying to get it out from where it was and this one this one's actually better than what it looks it's pretty rough I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I got it nonetheless. Um, there's lots of stuff here. Some actually some pretty decent doors, whole truckload of hoods and fenders. So we'll dig those out here in a second and have a look. I got to drag home one more truck. There's a, a more complete three ton truck there. So we'll go get that. And well, then I guess we'll have something to work with. So. I'll unload that truck and we'll have a look, see what we got. Do a little inventory check. All right, so I uh, apologize for the wind noise. Hopefully it's not too terrible, but it's hard to do this inside, obviously. So this is uh, the stuff we just dug out of the woods here. Um, got kind of a small inventory list to see what we got. Starting with, there's a firewall here that's you know it's usable it's got a couple pieces cut out of it but you know it's a lot better than nothing uh this old fender here is a passenger side it's obviously missing a piece right here somebody cut it off my guess is you know to make a patch this fender is actually in pretty dang good shape for you know laying in the bushes i think we can kind of use that this fender here it has a piece on the bottom. I think we can kind of we can kind of make it work, I think. This one's a driver's fender and it's all there and it's pretty decent. It's got a dent there, you know, and it's obviously rusty, but I think we can work with it. There's an inner fender laying there. That one's pretty rough. Um obviously that's another fender there, uh, driver's side. This driver's side fender just trying to stay out of the wind as best as I can. Um, this driver's side fender is pretty rough, obviously you get hit. But saying that, I mean, it's got some good stuff here. You know, it's got a good top. It's got not too bad of a front on it. I think the inner fender is usable on this one. Um, you know, it might be bent up and stuff, but I think, I think we can salvage it. Same as this one, this is a passenger side. I think there's enough there to kind of go by, kind of make something. Um, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at using these two fenders here. Maybe, like I said, maybe inner fenders there, maybe some parts. I found two good doors. This door here, um, I mean, obviously all, they all need work, but uh, they're pretty decent other than the bottoms. So that's a driver's door and there's a pasture door right there both of those are, are definitely usable there's three hoods here um all three are actually pretty good uh, i think you could actually use you know any of the three i think this one here is the best i see it's got a big chunk of body fill hanging out of it on the top i think that's because it was dented at one time um it didn't appear to be real rusty, but it's definitely got a big chunk of body fill in it. And you can see, oh, it's probably three eighths of an inch thick, five sixteenths anyway. And it looks like it's this whole kind of bluish area. And I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it's not too bad underneath. So I think we can use that one. The other two, you know, they're, they're not too bad. Um, I'll get to the cabs in a second. Here's a pile of grill parts. There's a couple, a couple good headlight buckets. Um, there's, oh geez, there's just, there's all kinds of stuff here, really. And there's all kinds of grill pieces here. These here, you know, that's like finding rocking horse turds. They pretty much don't exist. There's all kinds of those and. There's some pretty okay bars. They're all in real rough shape. I mean, 
you know, you got to understand this stuff's old. It's, you know, 70 plus years old. There's a few hood latches here. You know, I think, I think there's enough kind of chrome that we can sort of put a grill together. Anyway, we'll have a look at the cabs. Now, the cabs look pretty bad because they are. Um, you know, let's see if I can get on the trailer here. Like stuff like this, obviously, we can fix it. It's, uh, you know, it's part of the game. There's another grill on this truck. There's a lot more of those front pieces there. Uh, one of those actually unclips, and that's for your crank to go on. Uh, this grill's pretty rough, but it would definitely give something for us to go by if we tried to remake it. This is something real rare right here. Um, these are rear panel van doors or you know that panel truck those are real hard to come by they're obviously pretty much you know pretty much rotten but uh nonetheless it's kind of cool to have a pair maybe we'll hang them on the wall or something uh this old cab it, the glass the, the windshield pieces are actually intact um i think we can use this cowl and we can use that firewall. It's pretty rough, but I think we can use it. I don't know if we'll have to. Um, the doors on this one, I haven't really looked at them. I'm thinking they're no good. Um, the back of this cab is actually not too bad. There's some good, there's some good material in that cab. This cab here, the back is rusted out as well as it's got a very large dent. Um, the fenders on this one are, are pretty rough, but I'm thinking between what I got laying on the ground here and what I got here, plus the three ton truck when I bring it home, I'll do a little video on that and show you what I got. It's really, it's really no better for shape wise, but it is still together. So it is kind of complete. Um, <laughs> we got the young fellas fishing over there. Did you find any grills? <laughs> Hopefully you find some good ones, guys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is what we're starting with. This is another project that, uh, you know, I guess we'll do something with. I have no idea what to do with it. I don't know if we should try and make a truck with it, if we should try to make a rat rod with it. You know, should I set one of these cabs on a Model A frame? I think that'd be kind of weird in a way, but I guess that's the cab I got in the frame I got. Um, a good buddy of mine gave me a 61 Ford truck frame. It's got a front axle and I got a nine inch Ford. Maybe I should put something together that way. I don't know, but anyway, if you like kind of what you see, if you want to see something happen with this project, Shoot me a comment. Tell me kind of what you think. And, well, in a week or two, we'll drag home the three ton and we'll look at it. All right. Thanks for watching, fellas.